Hey guys, John Schuster here, Cobalt Banker Burnett. We're at Key QRS to do a podcast with Michelle Tafoya. We're super excited. Let's head on inside and get the party started. We're back. John Schuster here with Cobble Banker Burnett. We're sitting in KQRS Studios. We got the Michelle Tafoya live via satellite. Michelle, how's it going? <laughs> it's going well. How are you, John? Uh, doing awesome. Doing awesome. Thanks so much for chatting with us today. And, you know, I just wanted to reach out to you. Our clients absolutely love you. Um, uh -huh. And they always ask questions about you. So we wanted to spend our podcast today taking a couple minutes and asking you a couple quick questions if that's all right i think it's great i'm happy to talk to all your clients so what uh what have you been up to since the super bowl oh my gosh you know the kq morning show which mm -hmm. is great fun doing that four mornings a week and then just really trying to stay in shape mentally and physically uh, as we get ready for the next season and being mom i really love time with my family and it's it's totally precious to me and it's uh it's been really fun to hang out with my kids. You get a little bit of a breather, right? You're down to only one gig now or yeah, one major yeah. gig? One major gig for the moment, <laughs> and uh, it'll ramp up again here pretty soon. It, it's amazing how much shorter the, the off-season gets every single year. You know, just things pick up pick up quick. Well, thanks for your advice. When uh, me and some of our team members went out to the Philly game, that was an interesting experience. And uh, uh, one of these days we'll tee up here at uh, one of the games. But uh, so one of the questions I get asked all the time and they say, you got to ask Michelle next time you see her, what is one of the craziest or most embarrassing sideline interviews you've ever done in any sport? Oh, my gosh. Um, I, I think it would have to be during an NBA game. And I, I'm going to not name names here because it's so embarrassing for the person who, fair enough who, but uh, one of the players wives was in the stands and so they asked me to go interview her and she was pregnant at the time and um, she was sitting there and when it got time to for her to stand up and do the interview she was wearing a very skimpy tank top thing and she was enormous not the belly i'm talking about the other parts was there a, a wardrobe malfunction and it, almost it was uh the camera the director and the camera were trying to figure out how to shoot it you know to without you know <laughs> make, keeping it family friendly and um it was crazy it wrapped up pretty quick because we realized once she stood up that we were in trouble live tv you got to be willing to rock and roll with anything right Moments you do notice. absolutely absolutely anything can happen well uh, so i got uh, i got 10 rapid fire questions i'm just going to ask you your favorite spots or things in, in minnesota or around and you can just give us a one word answer you can give us a 20 word answer whatever michelle wants to do you can do so you ready you ready for I'm, this i am ready all right what is your favorite restaurant in minnesota I think it's got to be Bar La Grassa and mm. their uh, soft eggs and lobster. Yeah, oh, that, that's, that's pretty tasty. Yeah. Uh, favorite theater venue? I'm going to say um, West End, the theaters where, you know, they have the wonderful chairs and you can actually get served pizza and wine at your at your seat. That's that's Yeah, that's when you the can lay down flat movie. and they serve you booze, watch a yeah. movie, nothing better than that. Nothing better. Favorite sport? Well, it'd have to be football. I have always loved football, and I still do. And, um, you know, I, I never – well, I played flag football as a kid. But I also love Little League Baseball. Going to my son's Little League Baseball oh, cool. games, it's a blast. So I don't know if you can answer this one, but what's your favorite football team? Well, I can answer it this way. Uh, Golden Gophers. I support my, <laughs> my, my, my husband's alma mater, and uh, my father-in-law, my late father-in-law, used to coach uh, on the football team. So I think that's an easy one to support. Well, I'm a, a Gopher class of 2003, so I'm with you on that. There we go. Favorite vacation spot in the world? Oh, my gosh. Still so many that I want to see. But I think um, for me at this point, it would probably have to be Positano, Italy, right there on the coast of Italy. Stunning. Oh, just amazing people. Great. Oh, got to check it out. Favorite food? Sushi. Mm. Hands down. Sushi. Could eat it almost every day. Sashimi or do you like sushi wrapped in rolls or? I, I like both. I'm an equal opportunity sushi <laughs> eater. I don't like that. You know, a lot of these rolls these days, they're adding a lot of sauces and stuff. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I kind of like the clean, traditional, just give me sushi or sashimi and uh, I'll dip it in the, the wasabi and soy sauce. Nothing like a good sushi binge. Uh, Nothing. Favorite city, obviously, besides the Twin Cities. Favorite city. This is a tough one. Um, 
because I love Paris, but I don't necessarily love the French people. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go with New York City. I, I get there a lot, and I love exploring it. And uh, and oh, you know what? Boston. I, uh, I just Freedom realized. Trail, got to love Freedom, that. Oh, the history of Boston. Yes, Boston. I, I just moved Boston into the first place standings. So Boston over NYC. Paris is a distant third. Yeah. Uh, favorite athlete of all time? This is really difficult, but um, you know what? I'll go with Brett Favre, and the reason is I got to know Brett, and he's so much fun to be around. And there was nothing like watching Brett Favre play football and throw a touchdown pass and celebrate the way that he did. He was just – he, uh, to me, just says NFL. I, I Brett Favre. He was the real deal. Yeah. Favorite movie or TV show? Well, my favorite movie – you know there are a lot of movies to Look, choose this from. This is like don't the you? worst You're, question in the world, but yeah, I, well, you know, I'm, 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 you I'm know, putting you on the spot here. Okay, I'll go with favorite TV show, The Mary Tyler Moore Show. Oh, I yeah. loved that, loved that, love. And you know what? And and I never will turn away from It's a Wonderful Life when it comes oh, yeah. on at Christmas. Got to watch that during the holiday time frame. Yep. All right, favorite Twin Cities real estate team. <laughs> well, that's easy. Slam dunk. The John Schuster Group. I mean, you guys are amazing. And didn't I just hear that you are now the number one listing agent with Coldwell Banker Burnett statewide? Is that true? We, we, yeah, we just, uh, the stats came out for 2017 and we were honored with that award. So we are okay. humble and uh, we appreciate your help oh, and, and getting I, us I, there. And You know what? I love endorsing you guys. That, to, to endorse a team that is that successful that accessible works 24 seven um so how, so you know your listeners want to get a hold of you and i suggest that they do how do they well thank you so much yeah they can get a hold of us anytime they can go to www.johnschustergroup.com they can connect with us socially on facebook twitter or instagram or the old-fashioned way pick up the phone and give us a buzz at 952-333-SOLD and uh, i just want to thank you michelle for being such a rock star being such a great advocate for our team. Uh, you are humble, and I appreciate everything you do for us. So thanks for spending time with us today and letting some of our clients and your listeners get to know you a little better. Uh, it's my pleasure anytime, and uh, have a great, you know, you guys are you're rocking it. Number one listing agent statewide with Colwell Banker Burnett. We're, keep it going. We're going to keep it going, and we're going to come back next August and get some of your football picks. So Sounds good. <laughs> All right, you take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.